Okay. Uh, let me make sure that my mic is on. Yeah, it is. Great. Awesome. Hi, friends. How's it going? Uh, it is. I am a little late today. We usually go on at 2 p.m., but I decided to eat lunch and spend time with my family, so suck it. We're getting started a little late. Uh, it's 2.45, and we're going to go over this week's unboxing. We're going to go through the comic book boxes and the, the cool stuff boxes, assorted other boxes, and I'm going to show you what's coming out this week. Uh, comment below. Say hi. Let me know if you have any questions. If there's anything in this stream that you want, let me know, and I'll put it aside for you, and you can come pick it up, or I'll mail it to you. That's an option as well. Um, my shop is Johnny Destructo's Hero Complex, 4327 Main Street, Philadelphia, PA, 19127. That's it. I've done it. There we go. Welcome. How, who's out there? Say hi to me. I'm lonely. Even though Ray is right here, it's just like being by myself. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Let me like. Hi. Hey. All right. That's enough. Good. Good. <laughs> Um, oh, Noel says, being late is unacceptable. <laughs> Fine. What now, though? Hey, Joe Ray says, hey all. And Sydney says, hey, Jadles. This is all my book club friends. Hi, book club friends. Tonight's book club. I haven't read the book yet. We're, I'm going to read it. We got to blow through this unboxing video. First up, something real cool. Take your phone. Yep. Avatar, The Last Airbender. You know, Uncle Iroh, my man loves his tea. And he's always saying, let's sit down and have a nice cup of tea. And then Zuka's always like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, tea, I don't want tea. Well, you now you can have the tea with this uh, what's the, um, the Avatar, The Last Airbender, Uncle Iroh tea set. I will show it. There it is. There he is. He's in there. Just like in the show where Uncle Iroh has a teapot with his own face on it. I'm just kidding. That's not really how it goes. But yeah, that just came in. That's cool. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, Star Wars Rogue One. Classic action figure of Darth Vader. Way better than the ones that I grew up with. With like the vine or like the plastic capes that just wrapped around their shoulders. Those were awful. Although the cool thing was, is that they had the, the lightsaber in their hand like this. Like this. And then inside the arm was the blade. And so you would slide the blade up to the wrist and then the whoosh would come out the, the tippy top. That was kind of cool. But overall, the action figures weren't great. Um, all right. Joe says, great. Even more ways to cry about Uncle Iroh. <laughs> hmm. Um, uh, b b was that it? Is that all the cool stuff? Any other cool things? Is the rest all comic books? Great. Let's do comic books. All right. So first up, ugh, Six Sidekicks of Trigger Keaton by Kyle Starks and Chris Schweitzer. Uh, this is basically uh, a, a murder mystery where there is a gentleman who was a, for all intents and purposes, uh, the guy with the beard, the white guy who did martial arts and he was like Walker, Texas Ranger, that guy, what's his name? There was like a bunch of, a bunch of gags like 10 years ago where they're like, this guy doesn't do sit-ups. He doesn't push himself off the earth. He pushes the earth down. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. <sighs> Someone's going to say it. Someone's going to say it in the chat. He was like the guy with the big, he's had red hair, he had a beard. Walker, Texas, Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris, that's it. Chuck Norris. Thank you, Molly. Uh, blades in wrist, like Deadpool in X-Men Origins. That's right. We don't speak of that. Famous ninja ginger, Chuck Norris. That's it. Thank you. Anyway, it's about that guy, right? And that guy has had a bunch of TV shows over the years with a bunch of different sidekicks on those TV shows. And now he has been murdered and the sidekicks team up to find out who murdered this actor that everyone hates. Um, so it's kind of fun. 
Also, Kyle Starks does a um, a sticker club. So you pay five dollars, and every month he will draw two stickers and just send them to you. Uh, here you've got the Running Man. Oh, other way. He's running away from them. And the bad guys from Running Man. Kids, ask your grand great grandparents what the Running Man was. It was a movie in the eighties. Very violent. Uh, Adam Green's Hatchet. Speaking of violent, global, unstoppable horror. Three complete tales of gut ripping terror. Um, Hatchet is a more modern slasher movie. Kind of if you think of like Friday the Thirteenth, Nightmare on Elm Street, that sort of stuff. Uh, except it's that guy. Hello. Uh, aliens. After, I need a place to put my leavings. <laughs> I just need to put my leavings somewhere. Uh, I'm just going to eh, put them here. There we go. Did they? What? What just happened? Did they just not come in? Uh, aliens Aftermath by Benjamin Percy. Number one. So from Marvel Comics, they own the rights to make Alien comic books. And uh, the first series is for Alien. This series is for Aliens. Yeah, Aliens Aftermath by Ben Percy. Um, and if you already have, if you're a sub subscriber and you already have Alien on your list, I've automatically gotten you the Aliens. Barbarella by Sarah Hoyt. Um, Got one one copy of that. It looks like it's just kind of like a. Oh, the cover's kind of TNA ish, but the book itself doesn't seem it. Barbarella is like a 1970s sci fi film that I've never seen. Beckstar One from Mad Cave Comics. What are you, Beckstar? Uh, I don't know, because it doesn't tell you on the back. And it doesn't tell you on the inside. Well, you got to read to find out. I'm great at this. Beyond the Breach from Ed Brisson. From Aftershock. Oh, that looks spooky. Look how spooky. Oh, you, you want to touch it? Okay. <laughs> Molly, how are you? Um, so nope, doesn't tell you. I feel like number one issues of comic books should have much like novels, the information on the back to tell you about the thing that you, you might buy. Right. Am I crazy? Afternoon peep says Hal 2814. Hey, Hal. Black Hammer Visions, number six. So Black Hammer is a series by Jeff Lemire put out by Dark Horse Comics. And there have been a myriad of different mini series that go along with Black Hammer, exploring the different characters throughout the Black Hammer verse. And this one, Black Hammer Visions, is actually kind of cool because he gets different writers and artists to do different stories based in the Black Hammer verse. So this one's by Cullen Bunn and these other people that I don't know. Malachi Ward? Mal Malachi? Malachi? M Malachi. Uh, I'm fine. Thanks for asking, says Noel. Oh, you only like to talk to Molly. Cool, cool, cool. That's not true, Noel. I also like to talk to Rachel. How are you doing? They're fine. How are you doing? Fine. 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 <laughs> Hi, Noel. How are you doing, buddy? The boys... Why do I have the boys number one? I've got the boys number one. What? What? What is this? It's just a the boys reprint number one. Why? Dynamite edition. Dynamite. Wow, it's the boys number one dynamite edition. <laughs> Ooh, yep, that's what it says. I don't know what that means. But it's the boys. If you're interested in the boys, this is issue one. 
Berserker has another reprint of number one by Keanu Reeves and Ron Garney. Um, let Ray take over. Much more enjoyable. Ray, do you want to do that? No. <laughs> they refuse. Bunny Mask number two from Aftershock. It's a horror book from Aftershock. Canto three, Lionhearted number one from IDW. Carnage, Black, White, and Blood, number four. So Marvel and DC have been doing color-themed miniseries. So Wonder Woman, Black and Gold, Superman, Red and Blue, and then uh, Marvel's been doing Blank, Black, White, and Blood. I think there's a Punisher one coming, maybe. Uh, and this is Carnage. And these are all anthologies um issues with different stories by different creators throughout the history of carnage and it's like it says it's black white and well probably not blood i'm assuming it's not blood it's probably just red ink the boys was nominated for outstanding drama at the emmys this morning what a world we live in that's insane I also saw, what else? Oh, Mandalorian got like 24 nominations. The fun part about that is, um, you know, the different comic book websites have been reporting on Mandalorian gets 24 Emmy nominations. And then the first comment is always someone mad at The Last Jedi. For some, just because they saw the word Star Wars and they get so upset that they're, oh, I gotta, ooh, I need to post something about that movie that came out six years ago. Oh, I'm still so mad. Razzm frazzm. Champions number eight, Killer App Part Three. Ooh. Got Miles. Mor How did? Oh, Miles Morales. There he is, and Viv, and Nova. And Ironheart and Miss Marvel. Oh, the Last Jedi. I figured it'd be something about saving Gina Carano. Yeah, there's that too. Uh, let me ask you this, Noel. Was Gina Carano nominated for Best Actress? Joseph Schmalakis. Yeah, right? Schmal Schmalkies. Joseph Schmalkies, Cherry Blackbird. Track one, Drug, Satan, Death, Wish. Death, Witch. And it is sealed in plastic, so I'm going to assume that it's got naughty bits in it. Nice. nice. The Sumerian, Man Eaters of Zambula. And this, oh, nice cover by uh, Yannick Paquette. And this is for people who like Conan, but don't like Marvel's Conan. So this is the Sumerian, which are based upon the original Robert E. Howard Conan novels. Uncensored. So there's, there's naughty bits in here and bloody bits. Naughty, bloody bits. It's a good punk band name, the naughty, bloody bits. Conan, oh, and speaking of Marvel's Conan, O'Brien, there he is, the barbarian, number 23. Die, number 18, from Kieran Gillen. The next issue in the long-running series based on uh, a D&D &D gone wrong. It's kind of like Jumanji meets Dungeons & Dragons. A group of people get sucked into their childhood fantasy game, and then they all come back except one. And then when they are adults much later, they go back and they to find out what happened to their long-lost friend who never came home from the the mystical land of the D&D &D game that they got sucked into. Hmm, naughty bloody bit, says Hal2814. Yum. Die ends at 20, so get on it now, people. Yeah, this perfect jumping on point if you want to read Die. Uh, it's number 18. There's two issues left. <laughs> Jump on now. Excalibur number 22 by Teeny Howard and Marcus Toe. Two, two? I mean, it's T-O. You'd think it was two. Haha, ha, issue six, which is another horror anthology by the folks behind 
Ice Cream Man. I meant, oh, you're being serious. He meant back issues. Helm Gray Castle from Top Cow Image. Number More fancy stuff. And House of Lost Horizons from the world of Hellboy, number three of five. And this is like um, a mystery novel. A la, and then there were none. But from the world of Hellboy. Got to solve a murder. There's, there's been a murder. Iron Man number 10 from Christopher Cantwell. This has been a really interesting introspective run on Iron Man. It's got some action, but it's also I, uh, Tony trying to figure out who he is in the world now. There is a Captain America variant for Iron Man. I personally find it appealing when a series ends slash is ending. It actually makes me want to read it more as there will be a conclusion. That's, yeah, that happens to me too. Uh, Kira says, I may binge all of Die when it's done. I support your decision. And Ben says, Die sounds dope. Well, Ben and Kira, if you want trades one, two, and three, let me know. And I will get them for you. Kira, we can wait till volume four comes out if you like. Magic the Gathering, the card game, is a comic book now. And this is number four. From Boom. A Man Among Ye from Top Cow by Stephanie Phillips. Oh, that's right, Kira. We read volume one for Book Club. Speaking of Book Club. Man Eaters is back with The Cursed. The Cursed? Man Eaters, issue one, The Cursed. Uh, doo, 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 doo. Bam. Mighty Morphin number nine. So Mighty Morphin Power Rangers has been going on for quite a while from Boom. And uh, the title was Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And now it has been split up into two series, one called Power Rangers and the other one called Mighty Morphin. Uh, Kira, yes. Moonshine number 26 by Brian Azzarello and Eduardo Riso. More book club. We did volume one of this for book club as well. And it's basically werewolves during the... What was it called when you couldn't have, you were like, weren't allowed to buy alcohol? Prohibition. Prohibition. Ow. <laughs> Pro Prohibition. Uh, I don't know why it's prohibition. You think it'd be anti, anti-vision. Antibition. For anyone who doesn't play D&D &D or any RPG and is interested in reading Die, just stick with the first few issues. It's a get used game mechanics that they brush over in references. Really good, though. I'm getting a phone call. Thank you for calling Hero Complex. Can I help you? We usually do sell magic cards. I just happen to be sold out right now. Yeah. We're going to be getting more in, but sold out right now. Um... Hopefully we'll have some in a, like a week or two. You're very welcome. Have a good one. All right, my little pony, my little pony, one hundred. My gray bag, my baby bag. Where is baby bag? I don't see it. Might be upstairs. Uh, never mind, it's right, never mind, it's right there. It's the last. Uh, 100, My Little Pony. I'm assuming 
that all of these statues, like there's a bunch of My Little Pony statues here and that they've all died horribly and that this is some sort of statue that they've erected in their honor. That's my assumption. I'm probably right. Norse mythology from Neil Gaiman number two. So this is the second Norse mythology series by Neil Gaiman and P. Craig Russell. Volume one already happened and it's now in hardcover. And then this is the next series and it's number two. Oblivion Song number 32 by Robert Kirkman, who you may know from The Walking Dead and from Firepower and from Invincible. Thank you. This one takes place in Philly. And it's sci-fi and it's got gloopy monsters. Uh, Radiant Black reprint. Savage Hearts number one by Aubrey Sitterson and Jed Doherty. Ooh. Oh, good. I got I got more copies of Save Yourself number one. This looks so cool. And I immediately sold out. And um, I'm very happy that they did a reprint. By Bones Leopard and Kelly and Nicole Matthews. I don't know exactly what it is, but it does have Steven Universe vibes. It also may or may not be gay as hell. Break and curse. Gay as hell. Also, look at the look at the art. The art's nice. The coloring's wonderful. I was really excited to read this, and then I sold out too quickly, and I couldn't read it. So I ordered in more. Holy crap! My Little Pony got dark, right? All right. So the current Marvel thing that's dealing with the symbiotes is called Extreme Carnage, and number one came out last week. Extreme Carnage number one. And this is Scream number one. I don't know why they've done this. Um, it doesn't make a lick of sense. They should have just, like, it's not called Extreme Carnage number two, Scream. It's Scream number one with a tiny little thing that says Extreme Carnage two of eight right there. So, yeah, if you're looking for Extreme Carnage this week, it's called Scream. Sid says, can I get a save yourself? Sure, Sid. Rachel, could you put Sid's name on that? Or just put it in Sid's bin, actually. Yeah. Pretty please. Sid, it is in your bin. Um, oh, who watched Black Widow? Anybody see Black Widow this week? I quite it. Rachel, did you watch Black Widow this week? I didn't. Ooh. Fire me. Do it. No, it's getting off easy. <laughs> Seven Secrets, number 10. Keep calm and carry a big scepter. From Tom Taylor. Yay, thank you, says Sid. Ray says you're welcome. <laughs> I assume what, and that's what that silent face was. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> Silver coin number four. So this is a horror anthology that each issue follows this mystical coin, presumably made of silver, and uh, what happens, how it curses the person that is holding on to it. And each one's written by a different writer. So we've done Chip Zdarsky and Kelly Thompson, and this one's by Jeff Lemire. So that's kind of dope. I'm into that. I digs it. All right, I'm running out of uh, too much my stack. Too much stack. You take stack? I take stack. Thanks. I take stack. Ray takes stack. Cool. Sid, how you doing? My nose is so itchy. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> okay. You take stack? I take stack. Okay. Ah, <gasps> weird. A little bit.
All right, for Spider-Man fans, The Amazing Spider-Man, Sinister War is the big Spider-Man event that's coming out this week. So it's the, you know, it's coming out of The Amazing Spider-Man run by Nick Spencer and co. And it's not called Amazing Spider-Man Sinister War. It's just called Sinister War. But if you have a subscription to Amazing Spider-Man, worry not, you are getting Sinister War. And this is, if anyone who doesn't know, the Sinister Six are a longtime group of foes for Petey Spideyman. And um, this is looks like a like a bunch of so many, so many villains. Uh, not yet on Black Widow. Matthew Feldman, what are you doing? Get on it. Sid says, I'm good trying to watch you and my cat chase my girlfriend around for her cheese sticks. Equally entertaining. That is, that's high praise. That's awesome. I am just as entertaining as watching a cat try to get some cheese sticks. That's going to be my, you should leave that as a review for my store on Google. Uh, Sinister War has a bunch of variant covers. I will show them to you now. Here's one by Mark Bagley. Can you, can you seize it? There we go. And Noel says dot, 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 cheese sticks? Question mark. I want cheese sticks. Hal says, my wife and I watched it twice. It was okay. The chemistry with the family was really good. And the after credit scene, world building for phase four. Um, yeah, I love the chemistry of the family. That's the best part of the movie. The action's pretty good. Um, and I liked the Taskmaster reveal. LOL at Cat Chasing Girlfriend. Here's another variant by DNA of Spidey, Sinister War. And here's another one by... This looks like, oh, Gary Frank. Gary Frank did a, well, he's usually a DC guy. He did Doomsday Clock. Oh, man. He's the guy who always draws Superman to look like Christopher Reeve, and I respect him for it. Except for when he draws young, young Superman as a boy, and he still makes him look like Christopher Reeve. That's creepy. Uh, here's another variant that I assume Matthew Feldman's going to want. For Sinister War. Here's the... Who this is? Who, who you is? Who dat? I can't tell who this is. It looks like a little bit like... Some of the ink work looks like Ken Lashley. Hmm. That's what I said. Gary Frank! Exclamation point question mark. Let's see. I'm looking at all the... David Baldion... Are you David Baldion? David Baldion. Marcella Ferreira. Hmm. Mark Aspinall. I don't know. But anyway, that's pretty cool. This is one by Todd Nock. Doc Ock and his bowl cut. Um, this one's by IIF. Who is IIF? Um. Well, it's a secret. I don't know who that is. I think it's the guy who's been drawing the interiors, the last couple of interior issues for Amazing Spider-Man, which have not tickled my art bone. Um, and then this is the other main artist for Spider-Man recently, featuring the Vulture. And, ah, here is the other. Can I have the uh, the first variant quickly? Oh, we're running out of time. I keep going. Oh, oh anyways, we're past it. Uh, Go, go. Wait, yes. <laughs> oh, never mind. They're not related. <laughs> I thought, listen, look. It looks like it's a wraparound cover. So then when I got this other one, I thought, oh, it's part of the wraparound cover. Turns out this is the wraparound cover. By Gary, um, uh, by um, Mark Bagley. Same guy. You get it. You understand why I was confused. It's fine. You're not judging me. Electro variant cover. Kind of formatted like the old Marvel encyclopedias. Huh? All right. Next, we got Space Pirate Captain Harlock, based on the work of Lee 
Liji, Liji, Matsumoto from Ablaze. Spider-Man, Spider Shadow, What If, number four, by Chip Zdarsky and Pascal Ferry. And this is basically what happens if Peter Parker uh, didn't take off the symbiote and he became Venom. Yes. Spidey Woman by Carla Pacheco and Pere Perez. Oop, oop, too much glare. There we go, against Lady Bullseye. And there's a variant cover by Steve McNiven. Another Captain America based um, variant cover. Next up, Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters, Dr. Afra number 12. This is the big Marvel Star Wars event that's going on through all of the Star Wars books. Um, here is War of the Bounty Hunters number two. And, oh. Next up, we've got Thor number 15, Thor versus Cap. Is that a Varege cover? I believe so. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number 119. And Way of X, number four by Cy Sparrier. And X Corp by Teeny Howard. Part of uh, both of those are part of John Hickman's current X Men run, X Men era. Uh, oh, we got trade paperbacks. Oh! I'm going to blow through these. We got a Devil's Candy number one manga, Fangoria Magazine, Nia DaCosta on resurrecting Candyman. I love the original Candyman. That is a really, still after all these years, a very effective horror movie. Marvel vs. She-Hulk. Mighty Marvel Masterworks Fantastic Four by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. And this is reprints of the first 10 issues of the FF from the way, way back times. Um, oh, never mind. Skybound is not a trade paperback, but that's okay. Skybound X, number two. Star Wars Episode One: Phantom Menace graphic novel adaptation. Not sure how I feel about the artwork. It's cute. Okay. Darth Jar Jar. What? Uh, Disney Stitch, Stitch and the Samurai manga. Strange Academy by Scotty Young and Humberto Ramos. This is basically if um, the Marvel Universe uh, had a Hogwarts and it was run by Doctor Strange. And reprints of long out of print stories, Avengers versus X-Men, AVX. And, ooh, hey, no. Hey, no. History of the Marvel Universe by Mark Wade and Javier Rodrigo. Cover one. And cover two by Sal Bushema. Hey, can you get it. Look at it. Feast your eyes. And then another one by Steve McNiven. Frankly, I like all of these covers. I don't know which one to get. Like, they're so good. They're all wonderful. Noel says, Rodriguez, in all caps. Uh, Loki, the god who fell to Earth, is back in print. And Miles Morales, the ultimate Spider-Man, volume one, by Bendis and Pakeli is back in print. Uh, oh, King in Black comes out this week, Planet of the Symbiotes. And a reprint of Squadron Supreme, Supreme versus the Avengers. So if you were reading Heroes Reborn and Heroes Return for the last month or two, and you want some more Squadron Supreme, there they is. Uh, everyone should read this. It's frigging delightful, says Noel. He's talking about the history of the Marvel Universe. Book Club, maybe? No, 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 no. <laughs> we're not going to do that for Book Club. 
Unless the book club is me and you talking about the history of the Marvel Universe. And Rachel. Aww. I was just watching the YouTube. Yeah, um, I came in and Rachel had on the um, history of the Marvel Universe on YouTube. It's a documentary. Um, can I give you the proof? Yeah, yeah. All right. So that's that's Diamond. Now, oh, I dropped Darth Vader. He's fine. He's all right. Um, okay. We're going to do DC. And then we're going to get the free here. I have to read the club tonight, which is Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. I'm going to need that Loki and Doctor Strange. Says, hi, Michelle. That Loki and Doctor Strange. Okay, so um, can you put for Michelle Angelo, mm -hmm. can she have Strange Academy, which is the sort of digest size strange book, and the Loki trade paperback. Pretty please. She's a subscriber. She's got a thing, a, a, a bin. There you go, Michelle. Done. Are you afraid of such a spectacular piece of reference material? Yes. It terrifies me. That's why I refuse to even acknowledge the Kama Sutra. Okay. We got some trade paperbacks from DC Comics, including Grant Morrison's Green Lantern Season 2. Injustice, Gods Among Us, Year Zero, the complete collection with a with a cover by Tedesco. I love Tedesco. Uh, look at it. Noel says I quit. Suicide Squad, their greatest shots. I can't wait for the Suicide Squad movie by Jeff. No, Gunn. Not Jeff Gunn. James Gunn. Robert Rifle. Future State Suicide Squad. More Suicide Squad. But these are the Suicide Squad of the future state. And... Hello. Long Shot by Matthew Ehrman and Lisa Sterl from Scout Comics. That's a big comic book. That's like a magazine-sized comic book. Huh. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Ooh, spooky. It's got spooky stuff. I like spooky stuff. Ah, it's got someone on the toilet while their cat is bothering them. I can relate to that. Oh, it's a dog. Um... All right. Single issues from DC Comics this week include Action Comics 2021 Annual with two different covers. There's that the artist cover and the regular cover. The House of L Returns. Oh, from Future State. That's cool. Ah. I like the House of L one shot from Future State. Batman Scooby Doo Mysteries. Featuring, I'm assuming, Black Mask. What's taking X-Men Demon Days so long? Issue one was fire. Emoji. Um, I mean, issue two came out. But it's it's a um, quarterly book, Hal. So both the first issue came out. So the problem is, is that it's not called X-Men Demon Days issue two. It was called Marvel Demon Days, I think, or something. So each one is a number one issue, even though it's, it's kind of a mini-series. Batman the Detective, number four, main cover. Uh, this is by Tom Taylor and Andy Co Andy Kubert or Adam Kubert? Andy. Andy Kubert with a variant by Andy Kubert. Screedly deedle doo doo. 
<laughs> All right, Batman Urban Legends with stories featuring Red Hood, the Batgirls, Tim Drake, and Grifter with a David Finch cover. Does it Batman do anything better than standing on a on a gargoyle looking angry? It's this whole thing. Just saying, get a new thing, Batman. Oh, here's one uh, variant cover starring the Batgirls. Mars Comics says, hello, JD. Hello, everyone. Everyone says, hello, Mars. Rachel, say hello. Hello. There you go. The Joker, issue five, The Commissioner and the Clown by James Tinian and Franco Francovilla. Francovilla? Great cover. I love that cover. That's a real good cover. Hal says, hey, Mars. Here's the regular cover by Gillen March. And here's another variant featuring Punchline. And those are all Joker number five. And then Batman Detective Comics number 1039 by Mariko Tamaki. Ooh, that guy's got mandibles. And the variant cover for Detective Comics. Look at him. Angry Gargoyle. Again. Next up, we've got Flash 2021 Annual. The Flash Run currently is awesome highly recommend if you like the flash it's a good jumping on time because um i have not enjoyed flash in a very long time and this one deals with heroes in crisis so if you didn't like heroes in crisis you should definitely read this annual just a heads up and there's a variant cover by brett booth which is a sideways cover i kind of like when they do that that's fun gives them a little bit more of room to play future state gotham which uh this is issue three and it's very much a manga if you're a person who likes manga black and white manga art th this is that but in the batman world future batman world anyway What you looking at? Anything good? I'm reading about uh, false positives. Huh. Have you seen it? No. It's a horror movie with Alana Glazer from Broad City. What? There's a horror movie with Alana Glazer from Broad City called False Positive. Tell me more, Rachel. She's pregnant. She's pregnant. Scary stuff, scary stuff happens. And scary stuff happens. <laughs> That's good. I'm in. <laughs> now that, you know, we already have a baby. I can watch it. Yeah. I probably wouldn't have watched it when we were pregnant. Yeah, that's kind of bad, bad enough for her. Alana Glazer, she's great. She is. I like her a lot. She's wonderful. Infinite Frontier number two of six, the limited series. Dealing with what's going on in the DC universe. And there's a variant cover featuring Mr. Bones and Chase. Not Dr. Bones. Mr. Bo Mr. Bones, right? I don't know if he went to his to the bone doctor school. Justice League Last Ride number three by Chip Zadarsky. Oh look, they're having a little little campfire. That's cute. Oh, but there's Dark Side. Hmm. Nobody wants Dark Side at a camp out. Oh, okay. So I'm very excited about this. If you guys like horror, I'm air quoting horror because it's not really a horror book just yet. Maybe it'll turn into a more of a horror book. But if you like things like Something is Killing the Children by James Tinian, um, you might want to try his other book, Nice House on the Lake. 
I read the first issue of this a couple weeks ago. Oh. Oh, I thought it was damaged. It's not. That's part of the cover. I always like when they do that. Wait, that's the wrong page. There we go. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop, whoop. Um, so yeah, highly recommend Nice House on the Lake number one. I just got a, a buttload of reprints. I don't know, it's not reprint. I might or I must, yeah, it's a second printing. Um, highly recommend it. It's real, 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 real good, Rachel. You should read it. It's really you're gonna like it. It's good. It's good. I don't know why I'm whispering it. Um, oh, Jimmy says definitely recommend Nice House on the Lake. Tinian is killing it lately. Thank you, Jimmy, for agreeing with me. It's not like, I mean, I'm not James Tinian. <laughs> uh, Rorschach number 10. <laughs> Rorschach number 10. Look at this cover. First of all, spot varnish. Dope as hell. I love a good spot varnish. And then I like that you've got the two faces. And then the negative space, make up that gentleman. Really nice design. Is this kind of thing even possible? Is this real? No, it's a comic book. Relax about it. Um, and then there's a variant cover. Which look like a this. Um, I thought Ray's full name was Ray Montefer? Re says Sid? Ray Montefer? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. That's okay. I don't have to get it. Challenge of the Super Sons 4 of 7 by Peter J. Tomasi. Back when John Kent was still a youngin, before they aged him up and made half of the internet very angry for some reason. Wonder Woman, number 775 by Becky Cloonan. Give your gods. And, oh, speaking of Becky Cloonan, Becky actually did, because Becky's writing Wonder Woman, but she's not drawing it, which is probably why I'm not reading it. If she was drawing it, I would read it. And she drew the variant cover for Wonder Woman 775. The delay killed the joke. You said Rachel in a condescending way. Whatever, Sid. Like that? Like that kind of <laughs> condescension? Sid. <laughs> Rachel, is that it? Is, it, is that, did I get everything? Is it? Did I, did I do everything? Did you guys see the lightsaber? I'll show you the lightsaber. I'm going to turn out the light. I'll show you the lightsaber. I got, I got um, Ahsoka Tana's lightsaber. Uh, huh? oh, I'll turn the light back on. I guess we have customers now. Uh, thank you. <laughs> there we go. So, yeah. Ahsoka Tana's lightsaber. And you press this little button, this little doohickey. Pretty dope. And you can change the color to green. That doesn't really show up so well on the. And then you can change it again to yellow. Also, I'm not sure you can see the difference, but yeah. Pretty dope. And it comes with a kyber crystal. And it comes with a nice stand. Oh, 
and an Ahsoka pop vinyl. So yeah, I think that's it. I think that's everything that's coming out this week. I've opened all the boxes. You've witnessed it. Um, yeah. Don't forget tonight is book club. We're going to sing uh, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. And next week, I think, is movie club. What do we Rachel, do you remember what we're doing for movie club? Raya, Raya, the last dragon from Disney. Yeah. So that'll be a week from tonight, 8 o'clock on Zoom. If you're not in the Facebook group, JD's Hero Complex Book Club, join it. And then you can get the link for the Zoom meeting. And also you can vote on what the next movie and book are going to be. Um, Hal says, say what? That's probably why I didn't get issue two of Demon Days, right? Yeah. Um, the second issue is also number one, which is dumb as hell. So I don't know why they do that and confuse the, the people who are trying to find the book. But if you just look up Demon Days, if you need number two, let me know. I'll, I'll, I can mail it out to you. All right. Um, oh, yeah. And Super Sons, the next Super Sons comes out tomorrow. So it's a brand new issue tomorrow. So, yeah, that's it. We did it. Our friendship is concluded. <laughs> Finally. Until next week <laughs> when we will begin anew. All right, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Say bye, Rachel. Bye. Bye. Rachel. Say bye. Bye. Come over. Come into the. Say bye. 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 <laughs> All right, guys. I will talk at you later. Toodles. <laughs>